Hey, what is up everybody? My name's Star Lord. I hope that you're having a fantastic day and today's video I'm actually gonna be showing you four Fortnite streamers very popular ones What their actual in-game settings and configurations are in hopes that you guys can kind of mimic them or copy them And become a little bit of a better player just kind of gives you a bit of a lowdown of what these guys use in game To be so good. I know for a fact that once I actually switched to Dakota settings I won a lot more games seemingly I had my set mouse sensor sensitivity way too high, once I copied his, I was aiming accurately, everything was perfect, so you know, this could possibly help you guys too. I also want to say that in today's video we're going to be going over Dakotas, Ninjas, Myths and Summit 1G settings, and also that all of these settings are accurate and, uh, yeah, I guess they're all accurate as of the 7th of March. 2018 but of course you know streamer settings always change so if you do want to stay up to date on all of the videos that i make on their settings if they ever update them please remember to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications other than that let's get straight in starting off with summit 1g's uh, configurations and settings so first off we're going to start off with his video settings these will vary depending on what your pc is but um yeah let us check it out so first off we're going to start off with the 3d resolution that starts off at 1080p the next one after that which is the view distance is far after that is shadows which is off anti-aliasing is off then we've got high high and low that is his settings for his videos also he does also have his frame rates unlimited you know sometimes that matters anyway next thing we're actually going to look at is summit 1g's sensitivities for his mouse um i'm pretty sure his mouse is called a final mouse i wasn't able to find a link in the description so if you can find that feel free to pop it into the comment section below and i will add it into the script the description itself and um, other than that let's get straight into the sensitivities so first off for his mouse sensitivity he uses 0.0 he also has his mouse aim down, aim down sight sensitivity as 0.75 and then also his mouse scope sensitivity is 0.85 so if you guys want to copy those feel free uh, so now we're going to actually move on to the next streamer which i guess could be myth let's go with his now once again just like summit 1g we're going to start off with his video settings his video settings are starting off with 3d resolution which is 1080p his view distance is epic shadows are off after that, it goes medium, 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 and then low. Uh, Myth also has his frame rate locked at 120 frames per second. Not too sure why, but as you probably notice, all of the streamers play in windowed full screen. This is kind of better performance, so I would suggest if you don't already play in windowed full screen, put it on, guys. It, it will help you guys out quite a lot. Um, also, we're going to go over his actual in-game settings. His mouse sensitivity is 0.03. His mouse aim, aim down sight sensitivity is 0.70. His mouse scope sensitivity is 0.60. That is pretty much all you need to know when it comes to the in-game settings for the actual game itself. And just in case any of you guys are very curious on what Myth actually uses as a mouse, it is the Logitech G502 Proteus Core. So if you guys want to check that out, I'm pretty sure the link will be in the description below. Second to last, we're going to move on to Dakotas. Everyone knows him for his snipes, so he has, must have some pretty awesome settings, I guess. Uh, so first thing we're going to look at is what his video settings are. Again, 3D resolution is 1080p, view distance epic, shadows are off, anti-aliasing is off, textures are medium, effects are low, and post-processing is also low. He also, like Myth, caps his frame rate at 120 frames per second and also plays in windowed full screen mode. Very, very basic kind of settings, I guess. Unfortunately for me, I was only able to get a couple of his settings here um, in terms of mouse DPI and in-game sensitivity. His in-game sensitivity, he plays at 0.07 like most streamers, and his mouse DPI is 2,400. He also plays with the mouse Logitech G502. Again, the link is just in the description if you guys want to check that. And also, these are the latest settings that are known for Dakotas. Last but not least, we're going to be looking at possibly the most popular Fortnite player out there right now, which is Ninja. We're going to look at his actual in-game settings, what he uses for his graphics, and also his controller settings too. I'll also reveal what mouse he actually uses. Uh, starting off with his graphic settings, his view distance is epic, shadows are off, anti-aliasing is also off, 
textures are epic, effects are epic, and post-processing is low. He also plays it with a, uh, let's see, a frame rate of unlimited, and we're also going to move on to what his actual controller sensitivity is. Uh, starting off with the mouse sensitivity, which is 0 0.07. His mouse aim down sight sensitivity is 0 0.60. Mouse scope sensitivity is 0 0.40. It's so pretty basic in terms of the actual settings themselves. And just in case you guys are curious as to what uh, mouse he actually uses, it is a Logitech G502 Proteus Spectrum. So very much a lot of streamers like using the Logitech G502. I don't know, never used it personally, but I am very curious as to how good this mouse is. One last little note I would like to make is that if you do have this mouse, he actually has his DPI set at 1000. So just kind of a little pointer if you guys are very curious about that. Um, other than that, guys, that has pretty much been it for most of the popular Fortnite streamers. I also have settings from Daquan, um, CDN the third, uh, High Distortion. I've got a couple of settings. So if you guys would like to see those too, please leave a comment down below on which streamer you would like me to actually review uh, their settings for you guys, I guess. Uh, but anyway, thank you very much for watching today's video. Like I said, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications if if you do want any updates in case any of these streamers actually change their settings and uh, I guess just have an awesome day playing Fortnite. I hope that you guys improved using these settings and uh, yeah, until next time, I've been Star Lord. Oh, see ya!